here we are in the XJTLU. Welcome back. Um, we, are, we just uh, had the very amazing hot pot at Shit Town last year, Shit Town old, old, old Streets. And uh, we're back in XJTLU and it's already quite late. So now you to the building you're gonna use the most if you're going to study Chinese here and also for other international students you're not if you're not uh, uh, English Peter, you have to study e English here as well and now we're going to the main gate remember to bring your ID when you're entering the building, there's a security guy sitting there always, and he's gonna ask your ID. Now we're in the building, but uh, it's under construction. You can smell the decoration, the smell of decoration. They're constructing stuff. And this building, by the way, is called the Foundation Building. Here is a train ticket. Uh, you can get your train ticket from here, but they're gonna charge you, gonna charge extra, you extra 50p, 50 pen for that, which is uh, five RMB. I actually don't use foundation building very often because it's quite old actually. But uh, I'm gonna show you the classroom in a little bit. We're going to the top floor and see what's going on there top floor is not allowed to go in. This is the seventh floor. You can do self-study here when it's like in the morning, but now I think it's closed enough for it's summer holiday. So let's go back to the first floor and check the classrooms you're going you to can use. see it's the classroom you're going to use, but there's people doing self-study here. So I'm not going to this one. Let's choose another empty one and uh, I'll show you the inside. Well, this one. Mm, people are there. I think this one is empty. Oh, they're decorating everything. There's even no lights. This one is a normal classroom. It's like stuff in it, but it's too small. I seldom use it. Oh, it's all been occupied. And there's. Uh, room for you to uh, get fresh water, have a little bit of snack. Uh, why is it all full up? All the classrooms are full up. I think it's because it's under construction. There's not so many classrooms for people to use. I don't even know if you're gonna use this place because before it's for international students and Chinese students to learn. Oh, here is a good place. You can see here is the layout of the classroom. You're gonna be 10, 20 people in a classroom. I think for international students it's gonna be five something. And there's going to be teacher teaching you Chinese, I think it's every day, you know, every ba everyday basis or something like that. Movie club studio, this is a really cool club actually, they make films every semester. Uh, in that society you're gonna be allocated in the groups and you make films. I think it's really but cool. I didn't join it because I think it's impossible to make a film by by myself or I mean I mean I can't I can't do this job and also I have other societies to to go so I didn't do it but I heard that it's really cool society actually maybe if I have another choice I, I I'll choose that see some communist actually I think it's Soviet Union flag here you can see out test going. This place always holds out test. So at the weekend it might be like 
locked and yeah so it's not uh, I don't really like to see stuff that yeah, sure. generally is going to be full of all kinds of societies advertising their activities and here's a subway you can have uh, food usually here it's going to be full of the taste of subway the whole building is gonna it smells like subway actually this is the uh, property management office you're going to use it when you're going to when you need to give back your keys of these boxes uh, you, you you give it back at that office over there and that's basically the only time you're gonna use it or if you want to book a book a classroom I think it's any classroom you go to the property management office in different buildings for example if you want to book a classroom in this building you will need the to go to the property management office there and book it there I think that uh, I think I remember that's how it works before I don't know now I think another gate it directly leads you to the library which we already been there before uh, usually the library are like all the lights are all turned on uh, but now there's only like the third floor you see that light uh, I think that's the only place for you to do stuff study uh, that bit I don't think that's the library bit. I think that's uh, office for the uh, the school management team and uh, the headmaster. His office is above the top of the building, but it's over there. It's over there. It's not here. And that's uh, it's too dark. I don't know if you can see, but that direction is the science building can see here it's a bit empty square and if you choose uh, roller skating for your PE class you're going to have your class here which I did for the for my last semester in ICPIE if you follow these stairs up there it's going to be a coffee shop but I actually didn't see many people it's always uh, quite empty over actually. there right over there there's a bar uh, which I've, to, I've been there several times and there's a uh, what's it called snorks balls you can play it's a nice place to chill and there's a bike store there as well and also a china telecom play store you can get your sync card there but I, I, I don't think uh, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't get my sync card there and um, yeah and also there's a bike store you can get your bike there and also there's a little restaurant over there you can have some food there's always some uh, foreign uh, like international students and other, all the other foreigners uh, have food there and with their computer and uh, I don't know if it's coincidence or not the bar is actually right under schema business school I don't know if you heard schema business school it's a uh, French business school and the bar is right under it there's always there's always uh, French people gathering together in that bar and singing really loudly here under the uh, under the science building block a there's a little cafe here before it's a little convenience shop but uh, the uni charge too high up rent for them uh, so bankrupt and they moved here comes a little restaurant uh, I don't know what it tastes like hope you can enjoy it the buildings have uh, security they work 24-7 uh, to protect you and the building so it's quite safe studying like doing self study here even at night at any there time there are so many uh, classrooms and lecture theaters for you to do self study 
in science building and actually all the other buildings so and also there's many many computer rooms in the science building as well so it's quite good sink square uh, the roller skating society always gather together and do do their activities and also skateboard society they always gather here to do cool stuff and over there these uh, hallway uh, they, they have the student enterprise Uni zone. is basically going, going to give you a free free room for you to do whatever you want and that's your enterprise project but you have to write a application for that and it's the competition is quite uh, serious there's so many competitions basically and I don't know if you can see that little black thing that's the entrance to the park car park actually but it's also the place you get your new books uh, when you want to get your new books enter from here it's in the sink square basically get your new books there factory is over here it's too dark you can't factory see it. refactory it's over here it's too dark you can't see it the food here is very cheap spend like uh, two pounds you get a really nice really really nice meal you're gonna be really quite full up it's now closed i think basically here and above it it's a coffee shop where you can get coffee and under there is it still belongs to the oh i think it's completely dark uh over there uh, uh, like downstairs of the refectory what do you call it refectory it's a golf golf training place and also, also for the archery training it's all downstairs of the refectory and you enter it from the public building which we are going there, there now the light light place uh, it's, it's another gym but I think you have to pay for that for sure this is the computer room in the public building it's usually it's completely occupied by accounting students uh, here it's empty right now which is good usually if you come here when it's term time it's going to be full of all kinds of books but there might not be any people doing anything here but they just want to take the seat which is really really super bad but I don't know now if it's getting bad but I never ever came here because I know there's always accounting students taking everything and also some hacker they blocked the computer so you can't even log in which is very annoying I never ever came here to study anything but I remember here if you are like applying to study for four years three years in they're HGTLU. going to arrange a English level test here which I did and uh, they're going to test your level and allocate you to different EAP English for academic purpose EAP class I have been allocated to the second highest and uh, I can't learn Spanish if you if you've been allocated to the top class you're going to learn a little bit English but a lot of Spanish not a lot think half half or whatever you like and usually the better English the higher score you get no matter how smart you are or how brilliant you you a think. very very big bug here which is very scary right outside the computer room if you go from there there's going to be the coffee shop but usually these doors are locked so you have to actually go downstairs and then go back back to the to the this hallway we're entering black hole which is I mean business school I'm just joking it's business school now it's connected by this hallway 
That's the public building. This is business school. But I don't know why it's completely dark. B A 318. Oh my gosh, it's quite scary. Let's turn on the lights for a little bit and just show you around. The yellow color is the color of business school. And uh, here, this kind of, uh, what do you call it? Lecture theater? Oh, it's locked. Uh, it's usually the place you have your tutorial. I think the light's really rubbish here. Okay, that, that's it, that's it. This sign is really, really um, interesting, I think. Really interesting. Lecture room is, although it's based business school, but still, I see full of EAP, EAP, EAP. There's no, not a single class about business, like business class. And, but that, that's your, um, that's your lecture. That's your classroom. These are all kinds of, another kind of classroom you're going to have your tutorial if you study bachelor in yeah. the business school. Yeah. Guys support, uh, what do you call Homer Jackson. And you can find student common room where still loads of people doing self-study and uh, loads of people eat their takeaway, whatever here. And uh, if you are studying full time, like four years in XCPRU, in uh, your second year, if you study in business school, you're going to get your boxes here. In the first year, everybody get the boxes in the foundation building, which, which I never use because I never do self-study there. Switch off the lights. Oh, only here. Okay, I don't know what to do. We are entering B A. There's B B business school block B. Here's business school block A. It's still completely dark. Let's find the light. These are this bit is uh, full of uh, teachers' uh, offices. Where's the light? It's too dark. Common area of the business school. The, c the air conditioning here is really good. And here you can see a big screen actually. It's rolled up, but I never seen it roll down. That's all the subjects, major you can do. Math, maybe that. Mathematical sciences belongs to the business school. That's very interesting. AP classroom for you. And also for management. Well, okay, this is a math. This is a math okay. class. Financial Times. It's amazing. Financial Times. Tell me that. 2018 January. Okay. And now I'm going to fly my drone here, and I think it's faster to uh, go through the campus because. It's all the buildings have the same structure. Now the building you can see is uh, architecture building. If you study civil engineering architecture, you're gonna be in here in your second year. And uh, you can see the hallway. It's connecting to the electric engineering building. If you study electrical engineering, you're here. Computer science over there. I don't know how to zoom in, but try to fly. Yeah, I'm flying today. Can you see if you study computer science, you're going to be there. Oh, no. I flat my wrong drone. It, this one doesn't have any better. I have to call it now. Let's do that again. The building there having uh, lights. You can see is the science building here don't know if you can see it's the think square oh and that's the public building that's the public building oh my gosh it's completely dark that's the business school oh that's because I fly too high uh, this is the uh, architecture building, electric engineering building, and across the road, 
is the south campus. You can see it's like a circle. Well, of course, you don't need to cross the road, and you can't actually cross the road to enter the south campus. Uh, over there, there's a tunnel. You can go from the tunnel, and the tunnel is linked to the sinking square. So from the sink square, you enter a tunnel, and you can enter South Campus without crossing the road, and that the river actually. Let's try if we can fly to the South Campus. I don't know if the signal is going to be blocked by the uh, engineering building. And now you can see we are entering South Campus. And uh, the tallest building, you don't need to care about it. It's not for you. It's not for any student. The the uh, I don't know how to explain the building at the right hand side of the tallest building is new business school. I don't know what should they do for the old business school but I already know that there's people studying in the new business school already and uh, a little bit uh, like opposite to the tallest building is the uh, environmental science or what do you call that entrepreneuring new science building it's basically for the uh, environmental science students and uh, that one is called design building which is the new architecture building and here you are seeing right in the middle of the screen is uh, hu human science humidian science basically you study English you study uh, I don't know Spanish Chinese you're going to be here and uh, the building you can see in the middle of the screen now is uh, its hotel. Actually, it's not for uh, it's not for teachers, not for students. It's a hotel, and it's for people doing for 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 teachers doing short exchange or academic conference. They will, they will live there. And this is the South Campus. As you can see, it's a circle. And uh, if you look at the option is really strong. Can you see that section there? Um, because other places are completely dark. That place is the place you're going to leave. Well, at least for uh, international students. Uh, last year, they still living in there. I, I think you definitely see uh, on the YouTube here's a uh, American exchange student, uh, and uh, she basically, uh, I think she lives there because I saw her vlog. Yeah, and that's for all the international students and uh, also for many Chinese students. International students living in the very back. The building at the very back. You live with people from all over the world. It's quiet. My hotel is also over there. So later tonight, I'm going to do a video about uh, that area. As you can see, around that section, completely dark. So it's quite dead. Uh, but you see, right there, there's many, many interesting stuff. But still not very okay and if you can see there that's the place you're going to go very often if you are party people these place that place is very interesting and uh, it costs about a pound to go there by taxi yeah that's the interesting bit okay so i think that's uh, the air tour in xpgiu I'm gonna call my helicopter back.
actually bad to do it in the morning, but tomorrow I'm leaving here. I'm going, I'm just going to stay for a really short time. So, sorry about uh, the darkness. 